Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to the 30 days of creativity. I went ahead and did all of my coloring for days 5 through 8. Um, just kind of on my own, watching some TV <laughs> while coloring. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys what I was up to. So here we go. We have number 5 over here. I did the colored pencils again for that day. But I did a pink, brown, and green theme. Oh, and it turned out so good. And then I added some purple in with that butterfly. So it's got that like tropical greenery vibe. And then number six over here. I went ahead and started working with some of my glitter pens. Uh, no, glitter markers, sorry. They're the Nouveau. I got them from the uh, Scrap and Stamp show. And oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, you, you can't tell. <laughs> that does not do it justice, <laughs> let me tell you. In person, it is just magnificent. <laughs> but I did use alcohol markers for this one. Lots of greens, pinks, and purples, and then some yellow put in there. I love how those pink flowers came out with the purple glitter marker. It's gorgeous. And then day number seven, I did... So, <laughs> we were talking about with the Halloween candies, I think, uh, how I never used my orange markers. So, I, <laughs> I dug through my markers and found them, and then I was like, I have to use them. So I went ahead and did some orange flowers with some greenery and then some little blue and yellow. They look like daisies to me, but those little flowers. And I love how there's these little stars just sprinkled throughout. It's so cute. I love that. It turned out so good. And then for day number eight, I did something a little different. I worked with all of my brush markers. So I had uh, purple and green Copics that are brush markers, and I had a few green uh, Windsor & Newton brush markers, and I think this turned out so fun and so cool. I really didn't like focus on anything specific, I just did broad strokes. Oh, and then I also used my green glitter marker. <laughs> You really can't tell on camera how cool that is. And I also used my purple for the flowers and the butterflies. Oh, it turned out so good. It was such a cool, like, I just did really quick, like, feathering. I That is such a cool way to do it. Like, just a new technique, really, for me. Because I'm really... I used to be a really big, like, stay in the lines, you know, make sure you, you do the fine, you know. <laughs> so I think going out of the lines is definitely the plan for most of these because I, I need to break out of that, you know, the control. <laughs> that control feeling, like, I have to have it perfection, you know. So, <laughs> but this was a lot of fun to kind of experiment for with, like, some different techniques and some different products because I use the glitter markers and then also the brush markers because I don't tend to use them that often so I think I'm really liking the brush markers I think I might actually like the brush markers better than the pro markers so I think uh not maybe like next month maybe two months down the line whenever I get some you know free craft money <laughs> I'm going to do a haul or something. Well, yeah, it would be a haul. Like, I'm going to go and buy probably from CheapScrapbookStuff.com because I got a coupon from them. Um, I'm going to buy those Spectrum Noir. Wa they weren't watercolor, were they? It was the, the Shimmer Marker, I think it's called. It has the watercolor style brush. I want to get some of those. I think that would be really cool um, and then also I want to do I want to get some more Windsor & Newton brush markers although I kind of like the Copics I I used to stay away from the Copics 
I think it's because I had a really heavy hand, but now I'm finding I'm liking the feathering a little bit more. So I think I might be leaning more into Copic, <laughs> although they're more expensive. So I might like <laughs> might stick with just the the Windsor and Newton brush markers. Although I haven't priced markers in oh I think it's been four years. It's the last time I bought markers. That'll be interesting to see the price difference. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't even wanna <laughs> don't even wanna think about it. <laughs> And then I really want to get some more of these glitter markers. Although they're a little bit hard to work with at some points. I definitely would want the, the Spectrum Noir Shimmer for more like blending the glitter in. But with, you know, just doing like blocky, chunky style with that glitter, it worked. And then also blending it out with a marker. That really helped. I'll have to do a, a page where we do it together. That way you guys can kind of see how it works. Although I, I had to prime it quite a bit because they don't come primed. So you have to shake them and then you have to like uh, push them down. <laughs> and then that gets them activated. All the juices come running. <laughs> but this page was a lot of fun. I spent like maybe an hour each. Maybe an hour and then like two. I think that one only took me like 30 minutes. But I was just watching TV and YouTube during those days. So it was very nice. Just I sat on the bed, <laughs> watched my shows, and then colored each day. And it it wasn't too bad. Like, it, it was just an hour. So And I was already going to watch the TV anyway. So <laughs> I feel like they were very enjoyable. And plus, like, they just came out so good. And each technique was so different that I'm really excited to see them. So, and I'm definitely like, I'm trying to give up the control aspect. I didn't even bring up the white jelly roll. I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be messy. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while I showed you my days five, six, seven, and eight. I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.